Each way betting is a popular bet type because you can make money from horse racing without picking the winner. But each way bets cost more to place, so placing them blindly is the easiest way to waste your money. So in this video, I'm gonna share a few tips and an example to help you increase your chances of winning. I'll introduce you to a mathematically proven strategy to win money from each way bet in two. So an each way bet is for two potential outcomes, which is why the stakes are doubled. The first bet is that the horse selected will win the race, whereas the second bet is that the horse will place within that race. So if the horse runs well, but doesn't win, we'll see a return each way, get it? It's why each way bets are so popular on events like the Grand National, where there are lots of horses racing. Look at this example bet slip with William Hill. It shows a £10 each way bet on Brave Man's Game in the Gold Cup at Cheltenham. The horse's price is 13 to 2, so the first line of the bet is for the horse to win the race at 13 to 2. However, the second line is for the horse to place in the race at reduced odds. The place payout is dictated by how many horses are in that race, in line with each way betting rules. For example, a five horse race only pays out the first two places, paid out at a quarter of the original win odds. Whereas a 10 horse race pays out three places, paid out at one fifth of those original odds. Now some bookies will offer extra places on popular races like the National or Cheltenham, but here are the each way place terms for different field sizes. If you're unsure on a specific instance, there's a free each way calculator linked in the description down below. But there's more, because late withdrawals in large horse races like the National can change betting prices and each way betting terms after the bet has already been made. Because obviously if there's less horses, there's a different probability attached to your bet. Bookies like William Hill and Bet365 call this a rule for deduction. It's simple to understand. Depending on the price of the horse that is withdrawn from the race, a different reduction rate is applied to the other bets that are left within that market. If a short priced horse is removed, the reduction is bigger, and if it's an outsider, the reduction is smaller. Again, the free calculator linked in that description will help you calculate any late reductions on a specific bet. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you here, as a professional gambler, I'm not interested in any kind of betting that doesn't have a clear and definable advantage to me. It's just a waste of my time, and in most cases, there's very little value in each way betting. It's more of a recreational thing for the general public. However, there are two guaranteed ways to stack the odds in your favor when the numbers are right. Their strategies are proven and shared in the two related video links in the description below this video. They rely on mathematical loopholes in each way betting pricing, which leads me on to a few each way betting tips that are always worth bearing in mind. One, the best time to place an each way bet is when you've got a large race with a short price favorite. And that's because the short price favorite in that race takes up a large percentage of the book's overall overround in terms of betting mathematically. So the other runners within the field you're likely to see a situation where you can get a bigger price in the place market than there is actually a chance of happening within that race. The second tip is not to use each way bets as a kind of insurance to recover your stakes, which is something that I'm aware a lot of people do because they think if their horse comes second or third, then they'll get their money back if the price is maybe five to one or over and you're getting a fifth of the odds. However, mathematically, this just doesn't make sense. It's not value at all. The third tip is each way terms changing because in horse racing, the terms change when there's five runners, eight runners, or 16 runners. If you play right up to the edges, you can get the most value from your bet, your each way bet, through doing that. Now, now that obviously means you need to know where those terms change over, I shared on the screen earlier on, but again, you're looking to get a bigger price than the chance of your bet actually happening or extremely close to, you want the most value. Now the fourth tip is to remember that placing your bets on the exchanges in maybe the exchange place market is gonna mean that you get more value for your bet than if you place it with a traditional bookmaker. They have huge margins baked into their prices most of the time, so it's not the most valuable option. Unless, of course, tip number five is to target each way races where they're offering additional place terms because when a bookmaker offers additional place terms, in terms of each way betting, maybe for example, seven places instead of five on something like the National, then you're gonna find that what they've actually done is they've provided that as a promotional concession 
but it's again gave you more value than the bet was truly worth. We're only the bookies or their affiliates telling you stuff like this. So for more useful insight that bookies don't want you to know, tap the like button down below. Each way betting is just a numbers game. And like all good games, there are loopholes and exploits to stack the odds in your favor. As this video proves here in the end screen, there's no hidden catch. It really works, so go check it out now.